Why keep a cactus? My mum pricked herself on the iron years ago. And where the skin burned, it grew over and grew over itself. A hard knuckle on her palm with no slack to give. I broke all the leaves from the cactus you gave me, tugging the springy needles from their furred heads, and now the pleats bulge the way calluses do. An alive thing with teeth for leaves, and a green shell for a trunk dares you to be where you can't be, or to touch the green chrysalis with a fat, mean finger, daring for the thorns that thirst for you. The cactus you gave me metamorphosed at my hands. It didn't give or reach with its skin. Instead it lent, tough as plastic, out of its dirt bed. And the roots pulled without a whine. The red-white spiders of spines clicked their ribbed legs. They came out. I took pains. I bent the biggest red ones until they snapped like horns against a mallet. The yellow ones cracked, and I burned away the fragile white ones. I burned the white fur dots black. I licked the pleated side with a finger. The gentle cactus you gave me sits in sunlight, the way a still larva does, wrapped and wrapped in silk, parched and crisped by the years. I laid the needles in a row, red, pink, white, then the fragile yellow ones on the windowsill.